guys. I am in the car, <laughs> obviously. I hope this angle is okay. It's a little bit of an up the nose angle. Um, but I had a really, really hard time trying to figure out where to um, put my vlogging camera. I had the, I have the, um, sorry, and when I turn, it's gonna, gonna block my face. I have a Canon M50, that's my vlogging camera, or like my more mobile camera, the one that I use around the house, and I just needed a smaller one. So anyway, I got a small little vlogging camera and it sits like right on my dashboard. It's actually really good. It doesn't like move at all when I go over bumps or whatever. So we're kind of just testing it out and see, see how it works. I'm like leaning forward a little bit, um, but it's okay. But I thought I would take you along with me today because I'm not doing any um, highway driving today, just local roads. And in fact, I'm coming up to a school zone right now where it's 15 miles per hour. So let me slow down a little bit here. How are you guys? Welcome. Welcome to another vlog. I am on my way to go get my nails done. I like lost my train of thought there. <clears throat> I'm on my way to get my nails done. I don't know if you guys can see, but my nails are totally, I don't think you can see. My nails are totally grown out because I usually get them done once every two weeks and I had to skip one week and so I was gonna just go like over the weekend or Monday just some sometime close I usually go on Fridays and I just I couldn't do it. my schedule just wouldn't allow it so I'm like you know what let's just skip it and I'll go for my next appointment <clears throat> so it's been a month and it looks like it it looks like it's been a month so I am excited to get my nails done I don't know what color I'm gonna get I mean I like dark nail polish obviously I did like a more nude color um, a couple weeks ago maybe the time before I got this black polish but I don't know I don't know, I don't know what I'm in the mood for. Maybe like a dark red. I just start looking at that big wall of like all of those like fake nails <laughs> with the gel colors on them. And I just, I get overwhelmed and then I'm like, a color will stick out to me and I'm like, ooh, I want something like that. And then I'll like kind of hone in. So that's what we're doing today. I also wanted to show you some like new jewelry that I've picked up. Um, a lot of you have asked me to share my jewelry collection, so we're gonna talk about that a little bit, a little bit later on. I'm actually live streaming later on today with Kate the Great and Better Off Red, Sarah, and we're gonna be doing it over on Sarah's channel. So excited for that, you guys have already seen it. I don't know when this vlog is gonna go up, but yeah, that's it. That is it. Wow, it's so weird. It looks like um, it looks like my moonroof, like the covering is open, but it's not. It's just the angle that you guys are at. It has this like cloth material, and at the angle this camera is at, it looks like it's not there, kind of, or it looks like it's a screen. It's so weird. Okay. <laughs> All right, I just got to the nail salon, and I'm looking at my viewfinder. I think there's like soft effect. This is a new camera. I definitely have to play around with the uh, settings, but I think there's a soft effect over my face from what I can tell in the viewfinder. Anyway, if my skin looks like really like filtered and soft, it's this camera. My skin does not look that way, especially in this natural lighting. Anyway, what I wanted to show you was my nails. So this is four week growth. So yeah, I definitely need an update there. But my manicure place, I've gone to several people in the salon and never, ever, ever have I once had any kind of like lifting or anything to my polish. They are the absolute best. If you're in the Vegas area, you have to hit Bella Mia. They're in that like rainbow warm springs area. Where am I? <laughs> I'm on rainbow. What is this cross street? Yeah, I think it's warm springs. Um, the absolute best. I've never ever gone someplace where I've had zero, like zero lifting. I can't even if I wanted to. Zero lifting of this gel polish after four weeks. I mean, amazing. Hey, so I 
am back home. Wow, my little puff here looks a little crazy, huh? Anyway, I'm back home um, from getting my nails done. I've filmed a video, which is why I have a full face of makeup on, and had some lunch, which was pretty boring. I just had a piece of pizza. My husband ordered two slices, and after he finished the first one, he was like, I'm full, so I just had his other one. But I just ordered some, like, jewelry stuffs. I ordered a jewelry box because I don't have one. <laughs> and it's like a very casual little box. So I wanted to show that to you. And then I did purchase like a couple of little pieces from Chanel, which I'm so excited to show you. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me about my jewelry, like where I've purchased it from, etc. So anyway, I thought I would just go ahead and do all of that today for you guys. So I had ordered uh, from Kuyana, like a vanity makeup case. I was sent one by a company as like part of a PR gift and I fell in love with it. So I actually went on to their site and I ordered one for a giveaway and I don't know if I've announced that yet. I know I've mentioned it already. So I'm doing a giveaway for having reached 125,000 subscribers here on YouTube and I wanted to include that vanity case. So anyway, I was on their site and they do have these just really nice um, jewelry cases. So I decided to pick one up and it comes in this little dust bag. So that's the brand I was just talking about, Kuyana. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is the little box. So it zips open. And what I liked about it is that it's really just kind of small. I don't have a ton of jewelry um, and I just want something to kind of, you know, hang my earrings on. So it has these like leather straps in here that you can pull off of these nubs to open up. Um, you could put rings on here or like hang necklaces off of. And then it just has this like little pouch in here. And then it's just an open case. So it's not one of those real fancy jewelry boxes with like all the little grooves to like stick your rings and bracelets and other things into. I just liked how easy this one looked. So I'm excited to get all my jewelry in here. So let me show you the jewelry that I've purchased. Oh, before we jump into the Chanel stuff, I forgot. I purchased three necklaces from Maude and Joe. This was a company that I found on Instagram and I just liked the pictures and I thought, let me give it a shot. I know they are based in the US. I wanna say Texas somewhere, maybe Dallas, maybe Austin. Maybe Houston, <laughs> I'm not sure actually. So I purchased three necklaces from them and it came in this really pretty box. It says Maude and Joe on there and I've already posted a picture onto Instagram with me wearing all of them and I really, really like them. They're, they just have like a nice weight to them. They're not too heavy, but they're not too light where they feel cheap. I think their pricing is like really spot on. So I enjoy it. So all the pieces came in these little pouches and then they all came in this little like drawer box so very nice so I have the necklaces actually laid out on my bed here so I think I'm just gonna grab the camera and just kind of like vlog it over here okay so these are the three necklaces that I purchased and if you want to see them on me definitely check out like one of my latest Instagram posts probably no more than like three back two or three back and I know I purchased the Eden, the Madison, and the Haley. I think this is the Madison. So this one, it almost looks like a bike chain, like a really thin bike chain. And I just loved it because for a necklace, it's fairly chunky and then it has this like toggle closure. So this is what the other end looks like. So I actually went onto their site for this one because I think this is what I saw um, advertised on Instagram and I just really I just really really loved it and then I saw this one so this one I believe is Haley and this one is like it kind of lays flat but it's still very kind of fine it's like chunky but fine all at the same time which apparently is what I like about this one too and then this one I believe is called Eden the Eden layered necklace and so it has two chains. I'm trying to separate them out here so you guys can see the detail. But here is one. So this is almost like, like a cubed link. And then this is like, almost like a chain link kind of detail. This Madison one out of these three is the shortest. And then these two, the Haley and the Eden, 
um, are kind of the same length. So when you wear them all at the same time, these two kind of sit on top of one another, which I don't mind. But I think if you're someone who really likes like the layered look, you'd probably want to get one that's a little bit longer. And on the site, it will have like the lengths on there. But I think they're all, I think this one's like 16 and this one's like, these two are 18 maybe. Um, but I do like how this one is shorter. So it's not a choker, not nearly that short, but it's a little bit shorter. And then I got two things from Chanel. So let me show you the first thing that I got because I did not get these all at the same time. So I contacted uh, my shopper there at the Bellagio store because I saw this brooch, I think on their site, and I don't have any Chanel jewelry, do I? I don't think I have any Chanel jewelry. Sorry, I'm like looking around. No, these are my first Chanel jewelry pieces. That is exciting. So I decided to get this brooch. This is like a CC brooch and I'm gonna see, oh yeah, I think you can see the detailing. So it looks like there's like chain woven in here and then there's like a leather strip woven in there. I just really liked that detailing. They have a lot of brooches with like crystals on them and pearls and I didn't want anything like that flashy. I really wanted something that was a little bit more, I guess, casual. Um, I feel like a lot of people wear it, you know, like where their breast pocket would be. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I'm someone that's gonna wear it there. Cause I always just feel, I wear so much black and I feel like when you put like a brooch there, it just looks like you work there. Like I'm in my Chanel uniform or something. So I think what I kind of envisioned or how I would wear a brooch is either like on a hat or I don't know if this would work, but like in the 80s, I remember when I was a kid, we used to like pin, we would have like button up shirts and then we would put a pin right in the center there. So I don't know, maybe I would do that. And I'm not saying I would never wear it in this spot, but I would have to, I think, wear it with a coat that way. Then I would feel like it was less like uniform <laughs> looking. I don't know, I'll have to try it out, but I just really liked the like woven bits in these two cc's so that's the first piece from chanel that i got and then the second piece that i got i actually haven't even <laughs> opened up yet hold on i just got this from the boutique and they have a matching like necklace to this uh bracelet that i purchased um i think they also have like earrings that i'm thinking about maybe but let me show this to you before i keep talking and by the way they just come like so beautifully packaged so there is the bracelet that I got. So it's like a camellia with like a leather bow, the leather kind of like woven in and out of the chain. And then there's this like CC's hanging out down here. They have like little itty bitty crystals in there. So it's not too shiny, it's not too reflective. And then on the back here, on this little button here, it has like CC's there. And then it has like a lobster claw closure. And then at this end, there's even like little detailing on the chain here. And then there's like a little CC at this end. Isn't that beautiful? So let me put this on for you so you guys can see it on my wrist. Oh, I have a swatch on my hand. <laughs> So it is adjustable in that you can basically like hook it onto any part of this chain. So it's like, wow, adjustable up to maybe, I don't know, like an inch and a half. I just put on the longest chain. It's actually a little bit too big, but I just wanted to put it on to model it for you guys. So that is what it looks like on the wrist. So if you put it on with the CCs kind of hanging down, they'll hang down when your arm hangs down. All right, so I just set out all of my jewelry, or at least the jewelry that I wear often. And I think you guys have seen me wear all of this stuff a lot in my videos. So well, I just showed you these two pieces. Um, this is my wedding ring. So this is a ring from Lucifer Vere Onestis. We purchased this at Barney's on Madison when that was still there. And this is a moonstone and it is one of a kind. This brand is definitely from Italy. And I thought they were a husband and wife team, but I think maybe it's just a woman. I don't know if the company split or something. Anyway, I do know that they're from Italy and I just love all of their pieces because like I said, they are one of a kind and they have ones that are very similar, but there are no two that are the same. They're basically like diamonds pressed into the gold. And this is like a rose yellow gold 
almost like a hybrid. So that is my wedding ring. That's probably the ring that you guys asked me about the most. And that's a moonstone. Did I mention that? That's a moonstone. Um, the other ring that I wear a lot that you guys ask me about, this is from a Danish designer. Her name is Lean Vieb, and I have all this information in all of my description boxes, but this is also a one of a kind. I actually commissioned her to make this. Sorry, I had to change um, my angle here. It wasn't focusing on the ring. So there is the hand carved skull into pearl, and then um, Lean, the designer, she likes to put like really natural organic elements in her design. So there's snails in here. Obviously these are some diamonds. There's another snail down here. And there's a flower up here. So her pieces are absolutely exquisite. All her pieces are handmade. She does not mass produce any of her jewelry. And the actual band looks like branches. I love it. So that is my skull ring. And then these five stacking rings that I usually wear next to my moonstone ring. These were all handmade by a friend of mine. I put these on because I couldn't hold on to them and have them behave. Uh, but these were all handmade by a friend of mine who was actually taking a jewelry class. So she basically took me shopping in the diamond district in New York City. I picked out these five diamonds. They're all different colors. So we have like a regular like white slash clear diamond. We have a yellow diamond. This one over here is like a very slight coffee color. Then we have a blue and then a black. So yeah, she made this for me. And then this ring is a diamond ring that used to be my grandmother's. So this was passed down to me. Well, it was passed down to my mother and then my mother passed it down to me. It has such an old, interesting like setting here. And this is all Platinum. I don't know if you guys can see, but all the diamonds are staggered. So it goes from round to square cut, round to square cut, and then it's staggered between the two rows. So I love this ring. It's just, it's so beautiful. So these are all of my like um, handmade, one of a kind pieces. And then I have um, some pieces from Majuri, which is another um, brand that I kind of came across on Instagram but they have some really lovely pieces. They're based, I believe, in Toronto. So this is actually part of their astrological line. So this is the Virgo constellation. And I really love signet rings, so I decided on that one. I think those are white sapphires. I'm not sure, but it's on their site as well, the details. And then I got the matching pendant. So you've seen me wear this necklace a lot. So that is from Majuri, and then this ring is also from Majuri. There's two stars, one's larger than the other, and there's little black diamonds in there. And then I have these pearl earrings that you guys see me wear very often. These are also from Majuri. These are like their organic pearls. I love organic pearls. They're not perfectly round. I like how they're imperfect. And then I also have this bracelet from Majuri, which has this knot in there, and I can't get the knot out. It is killing me. So I actually haven't worn this in a while. I pick it up every once in a while to try and get the knot out, and I can't. So that, I believe, is also like a white sapphire. Maybe it's a diamond. I'm not sure. I had a necklace with three of these in there, and I can't find it right now. I am the absolute worst. I know that it's somewhere around here, but I just can't. I just can't find it right now. I have lost so much jewelry because I'm careless. I actually lost two pairs of earrings from my very good friend's line. I haven't even told her. Um, but I lost those a while ago and it was definitely on a trip. This necklace is here somewhere. I did not take it on a trip, so I have to find it. Okay, and then some other earrings that I wear all the time. These are from Stephanie Cantus. She was having a trunk show at the Saks Fifth Avenue here in Vegas. And I walked over there and liked these. So I purchased these from her. And then these two pairs of rings are basically the same earrings uh, with different stones in there. So these are from Ippolita and these are Onyx. My husband bought these for me for my birthday. We were trying to remember which birthday it was. I don't remember, maybe 39th birthday of mine, 38th. I'm not sure, but I've had these for a while. And then I was wearing these and showing, you know, a friend of mine, I think, that I had gotten these, and she gave me these. So I don't know exactly what stone these are. 
I don't remember, but they have like an orange kind of like tinge to them. So those are my earrings. And then I have a couple bracelets uh, left over from my move. So basically I got rid of a lot of my costume jewelry when I moved from New York over here to Vegas. It, you know, it just was piling up. I wasn't wearing a lot of it. So I pretty much got rid of all of it, except for a few things. Um, these two bracelets are two of those few things. So I love this one because as you guys know, I'm a knitter and this is like crocheted on. I do also crochet, that's not my thing, but um, I did like the crochet detail and then it closes with this paper clip. So this is a fun bracelet. I used to wear this more often. I don't know why I have not worn this in a while. And then this was a Donna Karen bracelet. I purchased this so long ago, mid to late 90s. It was at um, a Donna Karen sample sale. And this is when I believe Robert Lee Morris was still designing her jewelry. And I believe this is designed by him. I think so. It has his kind of aesthetic and I love this like toggle closure. So that is this bracelet. And I do wear this, maybe not when I film. Um, maybe that's why I don't wear this too. I feel like it's just too, it's big and it's like loud. Um, but I do wear this when I go out. Same with this one. Um, and then I have these really fun kind of casual Christian Dior like tapestry bracelets. They have these toggles at the end here. So you get them in pairs. So I purchased these two in just the very traditional oblique navy blue. And then a friend of mine, actually he purchased a set and he gave one to me and he gave one to the other friend we were with. It was just so nice. So I have this white one. My other friend has like, I think it was like a black, it had like, I don't know if it was just plain black. I can't remember, but it had black in there. So I got the plain white, which is really nice. And then this is my Hermes bangle. So this is yellow enamel. And I think the metal is just stainless steel, but this was also a gift. So a friend of mine gave this to me. So that is it. That is an overview of my jewelry collection. So I think what I'm going to do is try and find a place where I can like set you down, set my new jewelry box down from Kuyana and put all this jewelry away into that jewelry box. See how it fits. See how it goes. Uh, so yeah. So let me find a place to like set up. probably saw me put them on and then take them off and then I thought you know what you know I don't want the necklaces to just be down here getting all you know tangled up so I thought let me hang them and then when I open and close this hopefully I mean so long as I'm not like walking around and flinging this uh, little jewelry box everywhere it should be fine so that's why I put the necklaces up here and then that bracelet that's already knotted um, and then this had the perfect amount of holes <laughs> in there for my uh, four pairs of earrings. And I think I have a leather punch somewhere that I could probably put more holes in here if I wanted to. But I think this is fine. This is definitely like an everyday kind of little jewelry keeper. And then down here, I just put all the stuff that really can't get tangled. So my rings, the bracelets, my bangle, and my Christian Dior bracelets. So yay, oh, I'm so happy with this. So here it is closed, here it is open. Oh, I think that'll work out nicely. All right, I'm actually sitting here getting ready for my live stream. I'm gonna be on Better Off Red's channel. I'm so excited. Sarah's birthday is on Sunday. 
Um, so we're celebrating. I hope you guys caught it. I know this is definitely going to go up after, obviously. <laughs> this is going to go up after that. Wow, Michelle. I actually tried to go to the supermarket earlier today to get snacks uh, for this. I just like to have something to munch on and totally forgot my credit card. I actually don't know where it is. I have to look for it. I know it's here somewhere. You're probably like, wow, Michelle, get it together. So yeah, so I'm just gonna sit here. I've got it maybe 20 more minutes before it starts. I think I'm gonna try and rustle up some treats before this live stream. Cause we used to go like two hours. I need to eat. I'm, I'm on a constant grazing schedule. <laughs> well, hello guys. Wow, the lighting is really creepy. <laughs> I am laying in my bed. I'm so tired. I woke up really early this morning. I just couldn't fall back asleep. I think I woke up at like 3? 3? 3.15ish? 3, 3 anyway. I mean, I, I usually wake up between like 4 and 5, so it didn't seem that far off. And when I couldn't fall asleep, I just, you know, got out of bed and started tinkering around. But it was too early. I just really faded today. But I just finished up the live stream with Kate and Sarah, and it was so much fun. If you guys were there, thank you for coming. Sarah was so excited. So anyway, it was a great time, but I'm gonna get ready for bed. It is about 7.45. <laughs> I'm like 46 going on 88. So part of my evening routine now, <laughs> the Dr. Dennis Gross LED uh, collagen building mask. I really do enjoy it. I love sitting here with it. It's something about like having, cause it's, it's a little, um, I guess it's a little heavy, you could say. Not unbearably, obviously, but there's some weight to this mask, and it feels actually, I don't know, like, oddly comforting just to have this kind of, like, weight on your face, because that doesn't really ever happen. I love, like, having incorporated this into my routine, even though I still have no idea if it's actually doing anything or not. <laughs> But I am off to bed, you guys. She's not normal, by the way. <laughs> I'm vlogging. <laughs> it's not normal. If, if Miss Butters wants to come in here, that would be very welcome. My dog hates me. All right, good night, guys. I feel like I should have a robot voice to go with this robot mask, but good night. See you tomorrow. this past week it's so strange when it rains it pours some weeks I don't get anything some weeks I get a lot so we're doing a little kitchen unboxing again these haven't even made it upstairs to my uh, filming room yet so Sicily sent me a package um, they know how much I love their uh, pure bright activating serum this is like the daytime serum I was using I used it up <laughs> I used it up very quickly and I'm getting low on my other serum that I'm using during the daytime. So they sent this to me and it could not have come at a better time. So big thank you to Sisley. And they also sent me their new pressed powder, which I am going to do, I think I'll do a wear test of just this powder. Let me know down below in the comment section um, if that's something that would interest you or if I should just kind of incorporate it into a trying new makeup. I love trying new makeup videos just because they're so fun, but I don't think you can actually really get a good set. Like if something goes awry, you don't really know what it is. Is it the foundation? Is it the concealer? Is it the powder? You know, whatever. So anyway, um, this is their new pressed powder. So it's got the zebra print on the front, which I really love. And then it has this like press button open and close. And so they sent over shade number two. And then they sent over shade number four, which, oh, I think I could use as a bronze. Let's see. Yeah, here's shade number four. 
So I'll use that as a bronze. So maybe I will just do a dedicated video to this since I have the two shades. Very exciting. And it doesn't look like it's super flat matte. So I'm really, really excited. And then the other box that I opened up is from by Terry. And oops, they have come out with new products as part of their Balm de Rose line. So Balm de Rose lip care. This is something we all know and love. And then they've come out with a bi-phase makeup remover, a micellar water, and then a beauty toner, which is awesome because I'm just about done with my La Mer toner, which is a toner I've been using, so it'd be nice to test something else out. And that's very, very exciting. I love By Terry products, so I'm really excited to try these out. So huge thank you to By Terry for sending these over. And then I got this like fun pouch from NARS, and they sent over, this is really fun. This is really exciting. So I just tried their NARS Climax Mascara, which I'm in love with. It's very surprising. I don't know why in my mind I thought it was gonna be like a really kind of like thick, clumpy kind of mascara. It's not, it like makes my lashes look very, very feathery, really pretty. So they sent over that, but they also sent over their new Climax Extreme. Now this is coming out very, very soon. I think this is gonna be released August 30th. I think I'm gonna put this on today. I'm really excited to try this and I've never really been that person that gets really excited for mascaras, but I have been lately. A lot of good ones have been coming out. So excited for that. And they also sent over this Extreme Effects eyeshadow palette. Is this new? Oh, I think maybe this is coming out with the um, Extreme Mascara. It has like the same kind of uh, like packet design, package design. Ooh, look at that. Look at this shade down here. And I love, I don't know if you guys can see, but like the four shades here are matte and then everything surrounding it is like a shimmer metallic shade. Oof, how pretty. Here's some info. Yep, the Climax Extreme Mascara, uncensored, unparalleled, don't hold back. <laughs> There's a new loaded pigment complex and triple XL ripped bristle brush instantly creates explosive volume with latex-like black pigment from root to tip. Maximum volume, minimum effort. Oh, and then they say Extreme Effects eyeshadow palette. It features 12 sultry shades, all designed with latex-like finishes and a super fine creamy feel. Available August 30th, very soon, at Ulta and NARS. So the Extreme Mascara is 24. The regular Climax Mascara is 24. This eyeshadow palette is 59. Huge thank you to NARS. Oh, and they also included, oh wow, a mask. A silk mask. It says NARS on one side, and then it says Climax on the other. Ooh, I've really been curious about these silk masks. These must feel great on the skin. I'm really excited to try this. Thank you so much, NARS. This is amazing. And I got another box from NARS. I think I know what this is. Oh, this one I haven't opened. Wow, there is a very fancy, like mirrored box. Ooh, hashtag bring your matitude. The card that's included, bring your matitude. Soft matte complete foundation and soft matte complete concealer. Oh neat, available September 1st at Sephora. Natural looking matte coverage, it resists oxidization. Ooh, all right, I think I saw some videos of this soft matte foundation. How exciting. I believe this soft matte concealer has been around. I really enjoyed it for a while. It dried out, um, and when it dried out, it definitely did not perform as nicely, so I have decluttered this. Let me see if it says, uh, blah, 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 blah. The new soft matte complete foundation and the best-selling soft matte concealer. Okay, so this concealer is already in their existing line. So it looks like they sent me three shades, which is so, so great. Probably pick the best ones for me, so I have Vienna, which is light 4.5. I have uh, Punjab, which is medium one, and Patagonia, which is medium 1.2. So it's really hard to tell, but they're very, very close in shade. <laughs> and then for the concealers, they sent over Creme Brulee, Canel, and Custard. I think these these sound a little bit deep for my skin tone, but maybe for the summertime these will work, but 
If you guys want me to do a dedicated video to this um, new foundation, I would be happy to. Well, huge thank you to NARS for this beautiful box. Wow, they have the most amazing packaging. But thank you so much, NARS, for sending over your new products. This is very exciting. And then we have a box here from, ah, oh, from Kate Somerville. Oh, okay. So they had sent me an email um, asking me, you know, what products of theirs that I really enjoy, what kind of skin type do I have? I, I told them I have dry sensitive skin, which I do, and I love their goat milk moisturizing cleanser. I also love their, um, their new line, their Delicate uh, cleanser. That one is really awesome. So they sent me another goat milk um, cleanser, which is just glorious. This is like such a beautiful, beautiful cleanser. I have this one sitting in my shower and I basically swap between this one and the Delicate Right now, the goat milk, I've been loving a little bit more, maybe because my skin isn't as sensitive these days. It's just dry, <laughs> just really, really dry. I think from like the forced air, the dry conditions we have here in Las Vegas. So anyway, I've been really loving the goat milk um, cleanser as well. Oh, they also sent over, ooh, this sounds perfect for me, the Dry Skin Saver. It's for sensitive skin. It's a moisturizer for face, body, and lips. Oh, this sounds Perfect. It's fragrance free. This is what the tub looks like. My forearms are really dry right now, so. Ooh. Ooh. It's very rich and silky, but it's light too, like all at the same time. That's so weird. So like as soon as I started kind of like working it in, it really just kind of like, well, my skin is also incredibly thirsty right now. Ooh, that's nice. No fragrance. I mean, I smell something, but I don't think there's any like added fragrance. So that's really nice. It is formulated with a moisture binding blend of oat kernel flour and botanicals to help restore skin's natural barrier function. That's what I need. Wow, this is amazing. Okay. They also sent over their uh, ooh, Dilo, Dilo oil, D-I-L-O oil. It's a restorative treatment. It's for all skin types. The Dilo oil is from Fiji. Increases skin hydration, improves the look of skin firmness, elasticity, evens out skin tone. There is fragrance in here. Wow, amazing. What do we have here? Oh, the exfoliate, the intensive exfoliating treatment. So this is for all skin types. And I think I have used this and I think it's actually a little bit too, it's a little bit too much for my skin. Yes, I have definitely tried this before. So it was a little, it was a little strong for my sensitive skin, but maybe I will try it again because it has been years. I think maybe it was like five years ago, five, yeah, maybe five years ago that I tried it. I do feel like my skin is stronger. So maybe I will give it another shot. I'm getting really cocky here with my skin. <laughs> So I think I may try this. Well, thank you so much, Kate Somerville, for these amazing products. I'm loving this moisturizer. God, it feels great. My like forearm feels like really silky. And this is from, I don't know. Ooh, something from Kosas. Oh my God, get out. It's another mascara. Yes. <laughs> the Big Clean Volumizing and Lash Care Mascara. Fluffy lashes. I like the sound of that. Clean treatment, hot tube. It moisturizes and supports growth with castor oil. Uh, it repairs damage, it volumizes, it reduces fallout. There's shea butter, they're big on shea butter. I love shea butter. This is great. Here's the box. Ooh, ooh, it's heavy. Oh, it's ombre. It goes from like, like a red to this hot pink. Oh, you can probably see it better here. Wow, thank you, Kosas. I cannot wait to try this too. I got a lot of mascaras to try. All right, next up, something from M Cosmetics, and I'm laughing because I know what is in here. <laughs> it's their new mascara. So um, I think I had mentioned uh, a while ago that I was testing out a mascara and I was really, really enjoying it. It's quite different from most of the mascaras that I have been using lately, especially like the NARS Climax, the Pat McGrath Dark Star. Uh, this is very different from that. So this is their um, Pick Me Up mascara and actually you can probably see in these pictures and maybe you remember from my videos but what it really does is it just kind of like separates your lashes it coats like kind of each one it's a fairly wet formula which they actually warned me about when they sent me like that uh, lab sample they're like just wait until it dries and then you'll like kind of see the magic and it is really really great 
to hold my curl. It's probably the best one in terms of holding my curl. And it definitely adds, you know, a little bit of volume or whatever, but I wouldn't call it, or I wouldn't say volume is like the one kind of like characteristic of this mascara that I would point out. It really just is, it's very lengthening and it held my curl. So I have, like I mentioned, I have a lab sample from them that I've been testing and just, I really enjoy. They just wanted some feedback from me. Oh, but it'll be so nice to have the actual mascara. I love this lilac color. Something about lilac, I don't know. I've been like, this color has really been catching my eye lately. And then they also sent over, oh, are these like makeup remover pads? Oh yeah, these are like makeup remover pads. These are different though. Like the face halo ones that I use are, um, they almost feel like a towel, like a microfiber towel. This is different, like a microfiber version, but of like a cotton pad, they're smooth. How interesting. Oh, I can't wait to try these. And there's quite a few in here. Wow, thank you so much, M Cosmetics. This is this is amazing. And I'm really enjoying that mascara. It's, it's really lovely. Next, we have something from Glow Recipe. Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Deep Hydration and Glow. Music to my ears. It's available on Sephora.com uh, and Sephora.ca. So in the US and Canada on September 1st. So there's three types of plum in here. There's a next gen hyaluronic acid, um, vegan collagen and silk protein. So this is vegan and cruelty free. So here's the box that it comes in. Look at these pretty like paintings. Wow, look at this beautiful bottle. I don't know if you guys can see it, it has this like divot right here. So it looks like a, really looks like a plum. Oh fun, and they also included that watermelon uh, glow pink juice moisturizer that they were saying you should use it with. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much, Glow Recipe. Okay, and this product I um, already unboxed and I'm excited to use. I'm gonna use this today. This is the PMD Personal Microderm and Skin Store sent this over to me and I am so excited to use this. So this is like a tool to help you exfoliate your skin and it is um, a physical kind of exfoliation. So because I have like, you know, eczema or whatever, I generally can't use acids. I've just started, I've just started, and I'm using a very gentle one, like on this part of my face, and it's been working out really, really well. I'm just gonna admire how smooth my skin is right here. <laughs> oh, it looks like it has all these different tips. So at the top, do you see all those different colors? Those are different, like, tips that you can add on. After a series of eight to 12 treatments, the PMD will begin to reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, blemishes, age spots, enlarged pores, and will even its skin tone and texture. Watch. So let me take this out of the package. Okay, here's what the tool looks like. Um, oh, here's the power button. Oh, I have to plug it in. I thought maybe it was rechargeable. I have to plug it in. And then I guess this is a different tip. And then here are the discs. Ooh, yes, I'm excited excited to play around with this. Thank you so much Skin Store for sending this over. I cannot wait, cannot wait to dive in. So last but not least, I have another gigantic box from Cosbar. I am, whew, I am just, wow, I'm just blown away. I'm blown away by their generosity. Oh, it looks like they're having a beauty bag event. Ooh, fall into beauty bag. So the event is happening from September 5th to September 12th. Good morning, Butters. Good morning, Miss Butters. Hold on one second, let me, let me tend to Miss Butters. Okay, so I was telling you that they're having a fall beauty bag event and it is happening from September 5th to September 12th. So you'll receive a complimentary 20 piece gift when you spend $200 or more. This must be the bag, Ooh, this is nice. It's one of those bags that has those like button down flaps. It has Cosbar down here. It's just kind of like stamped in there. So first we have Ashantakai Stress Repair Concentrate, Tom Ford Extreme Badass Mascara, one of my favorites. The Sisley Eye and Lip Contour Cream. This is one of my favorite eye creams. I use this during the day now. Dr. Barbara Sturm Sun Drops SPF 50 Sunscreen. Ooh, that sounds very, very promising. We have an Orlane B21 Extraordinaire. What is this? This is, I think maybe this is uh, like a serum of some sort. A Maison Francis Kirchen uh, Rose Fragrance. Ooh, 
I've been wanting to try this a la rose. A Waterlock Moisturizer from Tata Harper. The Clay de Po Hydro Softening Lotion. Lancer, the Method Polish. Ooh, a hair serum from Miriam Quevedo. Sorry, I'm holding up the products by my face because I think my camera is just focusing on my face. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can see it. Um, the Orbe Invisible Defense Universal Protection Spray. I've been wanting to try this too. I think I saw another YouTuber use this. I can't remember who, um, but I wanted to try that. So that is awesome. A Bio Effect Serum. Ooh, a Molten Brown um, Shower Gel. Heavenly, ooh, Ginger Lily. A Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love this primer. In fact, I decluttered mine. And this is just such a great one when your skin is feeling dry, which mine is right now. So I'm excited for that. And then there's two Laura Mercier caviar sticks. Um, oh, both an amethyst. Maybe they, maybe they mistakenly put two in mine. So you'll get one Laura Mercier amethyst caviar stick and a Revive anti-aging serum. And let's see, I got a bunch of packets here. I got, oh, some hum vitamins, uh, a dietary supplement from the new co oh here's a card kind of talking about everything that is included and then i got a 111 skin rose gold brightening facial treatment sheet mask so yeah i'll have to try this out too i haven't done a sheet mask in so long and that is it that is all the stuff that is in this um fall beauty bag isn't that amazing um you know, I was thinking, I'm like, why is this box so big and why was it so heavy? Because there was all of this like white wormage over this side and they actually threw some products in here for me. Oh my God. They sent me a full size of the vitamin and rich face base from Bobbi Brown. I was just talking about how I need to use that more. Um, oh my God, <laughs> they sent over a full size of the Orbe. It's like they read my mind. This is what I've been wanting to try. A full size of the Barbara Sturm uh, Sun Drops SVF 50. This has all chemical sunscreen. I can't believe it. They sent over the Kirkjan a la Rose fragrance. Oh, and the Clay de Po Hydro Softening Lotion. All right, so that was the last thing from Cosbar. Oh my God. Cosbar, thank you so, so much again. And I'm really excited for this beauty bag event for you guys. The products in here are amazing. I love these deluxe sample sizes. They're great for travel. Hopefully we'll be able to start traveling again kind of soon, fingers crossed. So anyway, thank you so, so much Cosbar. This is really just such a generous, generous, fantastic box. All right, well, I've got to clean up this mess. I have a lot of boxes to break down now. And then I've got to feed and walk the dog. I've got to feed myself. I've only had coffee and I'm starting to like get the grumbles. So I have to decide what I want to do for breakfast. to uh, sit down and film something. Uh, so I thought I would uh, get ready with you guys a little bit. I've got my Rifa Carrot Ray Roller and someone in my comment section the last time I used this, was this in a vlog also? I think so. And uh, anyway, I used it after I put some oil on and they were like, I thought you weren't supposed to use it after oil, like the microcurrent, uh, which this solar panel is for, the microcurrent you know, it's not conducive like through oil. And I was like, this person's right. <laughs> so I've been using at least the microcurrent portion of this uh, refill roller incorrectly. Uh, so I, I mean, I just, I like the rolling. I think that in and of itself probably does a little bit of something, but the microcurrent, which um, the solar panel feeds, there's like a very slight microcurrent that comes through these balls. So I was about to put on some you know oils and some other things on my skin and I didn't so I just have uh, some serum on my skin so I'm just going to roll so how are you guys I am okay <laughs> I feel like I don't know what else to say everyone's like how are you I'm like 
I'm okay. I am really taking it day by day. I found out some really awful news about a very close family member. Um, found out some really horrible news about a good friend from my days in the knitting world. And it's just been so terrible. It's just really been weighing on me. And, you know, I just want to thank you guys for allowing me this space on YouTube to be able to, you know, get away from it. I love sitting down and filming, you know, makeup videos, these vlogs for you guys. It really has been a nice escape <laughs> from the real world. I hope I'm providing a little bit of that uh, for you as well. So I don't want to get too serious here. Um, but I hope you guys are all well. I hope you're all getting through these difficult times, really focusing on the things that matter, that matter to you, whatever that may be, family, pets, your job, you know, whatever it is. And maybe hopefully more than just surviving, but thriving a little bit. I know every day I feel like every day feels different. <laughs> Some days I'm like, I'm barely surviving. And other days I'm like, I'm thriving. <laughs> so hopefully there's some bright moments going on in your life. Um, I think they can always be found somewhere, somehow. Cannot forget the back of the neck. This is probably what feels the best. Yes. All right, now that the rolling is done, I'm gonna put on my face oil. So I've been using the Chantecai Rose de May face oil, and I am going to put a little bit less on than last time because that was a lot. So I'm just gonna use two drops. I think I used three or four last time and it really was quite a bit of oil. Next, I'm gonna throw on some of this Black Rose Eye Contour Fluid from Sicily. I haven't used this in maybe a week and the idea of something cool under my eyes right now is very welcome. The tip of this is like ceramic Oh, and it just feels, it feels like it's been on ice. It's amazing. Amazing. And then we're going to throw on some of this Chantecai CBD 300 face and body cream. Really been enjoying this for day. The best way I can describe it is kind of like a yogurt kind of texture. So it's not, it's not like quite as thick as like pudding, but it's not, it's not quite as thin as like just a straight up kind of like lotion either. But I really like this uh, for day use because it is uh, light, it absorbs quickly, and it smells, it smells really, really fresh. It almost has like a citrusy scent, which you guys know I love. But this has been very nice. It's definitely not aggravating my skin at all. It is very, very calming. All right, that has kind of sunken in. It's time for SPF. So I'm going to use my Kipris Pot of Shade. I love this SPF because it is physical sunscreen instead of chemical sunscreen. It is, I think, 20% zinc oxide. And generally, I expect to have um, a fairly white cast kind of powdery residue left on my skin when I use a physical sunscreen, but I don't with this pot of shade. So I do use light layers. I don't use like a whole glop all at once. And there is a little bit of a white cast for sure, but not nearly as bad as other physical sunscreens that claim to be kind of like invisible. No, this, this is the most invisible that I have tried. So I'll take like this much at a time. I'll probably use like three layers of that. I just feel like if you put a whole glop on at once, it's hard to keep it really invisible kind of looking. You kind of want to just work it in slowly. You know what I mean? <laughs> And then one more glop. So I think what I'm going to do is just let this settle down before I put on some makeup, but I'm going to go ahead and put on some jewelry. I've got my jewelry box here. I was showing this to my husband. He was like, wow, he's like, that's really, really handy looking. I was like, I know, isn't it? So here we are. Um, okay. I am definitely going to put on my black Epolita earrings. It's what I usually put on if I'm wearing something black. <laughs> it just seems to make sense to me. <laughs> and I love earrings with the fish hook. It's just so easy. I just stick it in and go. The ones with backings, I lose the backing. Invariably, I'll like press my ear against my head and I'll like scratch the back of my head. Anyway, love the fish hook. I think we definitely need to put on the Chanel bracelet. So there is the bracelet and some necklaces. So 
So I'm going to put on the Madison from Modern Joe. And then I'm going to put on the, I think this one is Haley. This is that one that's like, kind of like a flat chain. I have my left hand rings on, but I don't have anything on my right. I think today, today feels like a double black star day. This is that black diamond star ring from a jury. Fits right on my middle finger. All right, so I have to decide now <laughs> whether or not I'm going to put makeup on as I'm filming, but I have to get serious. So I'm gonna stop vlogging for now. Love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what uh, like jewelry you guys have been loving lately. I'm really getting more and more into jewelry. So let me know some of your favorite jewelry companies down below in the comments section. Are you guys finding all of your jewelry inspiration off of Instagram the way I am? <laughs> let me know. Let me know down below. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Well, I'll see you guys in my next video, but thanks so much for tuning into this vlog. I'll see you next time.